everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the session. I am excited to speak to you today. I am Jacqueline Equema, a program manager in Microsoft, and I'll be talking to you about the Update Staging Lab, an Azure service built to accelerate our app validations against pre-release Windows builds. I promise you this is going to be exciting, so just um, stay tuned and, you know, go along with me on this session. Now, as our Windows updates are rolled out, the runway for validation is short and extremely critical. I know you're aware that we have monthly rollouts of updates that happens of security updates for Windows that happens uh, um, every patch Tuesday. Now, our independent software vendor partners have apps that have been maintained and validated, have apps that are being maintained and validated across different operating systems, different devices and form factors. Now, testing that is being done by ISVs, I guess, do not just focus only on compatibility tests. You have um, security tests where you're checking vulnerabilities of security, you're doing other functional tests, you know, trying to ensure that applica your applications can handle high traffic as users exercise different functional aspects of your application. Now, this test scenarios across different form factors continue to grow. You're testing different things, you're doing usability testing, you know, and before you know it, it becomes like a complex test matrix. And what happens is that at the end of the day, you have to manage those tests. Yes, a Tesla management becomes very cumbersome. And our eyes will spend a lot of time, you're deploying, configuring, managing your test environments. The result of this for us is that the adoption of a pre-release update Dates becomes patchy. Not a lot of partners are using insider bits and for security updates, there is actually limited availability of pre-release updates. When you find an issue, you know, when your app is being tested uh, um, against a patch, you should be able to remediate it within the shortest runway possible. To solve for all these issues, we announced the Update Staging Lab, a validation service that enables ISVs to test collaboratively with Microsoft. As an ISV on boards onto USL, this is what we have here on the screen on this slide right here. An ISV on boards by bringing their applications and their, their test scripts and their dependencies in some cases onto USL. As the ISV onboards onto USL, our USL, which is the update staging lab, the USL environment is kept up to date with pre-release Windows security updates. As soon as a new update is available, typically we receive the first one like three to four weeks prior to release of the market. USL will automatically trigger execution of multiple tests on the ISV's application right here. And then the ISVs can go ahead and monitor the test results and app insights through their Azure dashboard. And if there are any issues found, Microsoft and the ISV work together, yes, to debug and resolve these issues. Now we started this in the update staging lab with security update testing but we're working to include future update testing soon. Validation testing in a joint environment, I would say, is really key to um, helping detect and resolve issues before the update is released, uh, you know, which would potentially cause issues to end customers like yours. With USL, our ISVs can, you know, be more efficient in collaborative validation and take advantage of the joint debugging environment you have with Microsoft. What are some key benefits of the Update Staging Lab? With the Update Staging Lab, ISVs and Microsoft would collaborate 
on the testing before the updates are released. And this joint environment would empower UISVs to be able to provide evergreen support for all apps that you manage, especially zero day support by testing against this pre-release builds on the update staging lab. Enterprises and other customers would benefit from this joint collaboration if there are any issues because USL builds in this coordination at the start, working together with the ISVs to determine root causes and address issues, which in turn will benefit the end users of your application. So I would pause here and then I would go into a demo of the update staging lab. I would show you some areas on the update staging lab so that you can have, um, I would say, some first-hand experience on what this is, what this looks like. So let me just um, go ahead and share with you the update staging lab. Yeah. So this is the landing page of the update staging lab right here on your screen. And it's on Azure. It's a service in Azure. And you log into the update staging lab using your AAD credentials, your Azure Active Directory credentials. And this is the landing page. And from here, you can go straight to the test summary page or you can go to the test results page. But for the purpose of this demo, I would be going into the summary page and then we can drill down to the results because from the summary page, you can also view test results. You can drill down to the test results. Now on the summary page, um, you can see the, the names of the apps that have been onboarded. We have three apps onboarded in the update staging lab um, and you can also, you can have as many apps as you want. You can have different versions of a particular app all onboarded on the update staging lab. So right here on the summary page, you get to see the apps, a list of all the apps that you have onboarded. You can see the, the summary of the last test that was executed against that app. So here on the page, we can see that two tests are uh, being uh, in, are running in progress right now. Tests are being executed on those two apps. So, and the third one has some um, data processing right there, and you can see the results of the of the last test that was run on a particular app. And you can also see the dates. All this information is available on the summary page. Right here, no. If I collapse this arrow. I can view a bit more detail. So which versions of Windows OS were my app tested against? Once I click there, I can see all the versions of Windows that I opted in for my app to be tested against. So here there are four versions that I've opted in to test my app against the Windows 10 1909, Windows 10 1809, Windows 10 1903, and the Windows 10 1803. So I can also see the status of those tests. So in actual fact, three tests have been completed on three OS versions and one is still in progress. And the result of this test is that this test succeeded, they passed, and these are the dates when they were tested. Now, which, which pre-release version was it tested against? Which patch was it tested against? Here you have that information under the release column. So it was tested against the 2020-04B and um, the re revision details are also there. So I want to see more information as to this and I can just go ahead and click on the see details link here under the more information column and I would drill down to the test results page. Now the test results page shows you details of the tests, the results of the tests that were executed against your app. Here, um, there are two types of tests that we, we 
carry out currently on the update staging lab, and we're also looking at onboarding more types of tests. But for now, we do the out of box tests and we do the functional tests. For the out of box test, it just does a basic install your app, launch, and close your app a number of times, 30 times, and then closes your apps. And then we give you the rich information, rich signals that happen when those actions are being performed on your app on this new OS version. For the functional test, you can also include more activities for some, some ISVs have requested that, okay, in addition to launching, closing the app, we also want to maybe install a malware on the server and see how our app performs against it or want to collect some certain log, log, information, you know, and all of that. So all that happens if we execute a functional test on your app. But for the purpose of this session, I'm just taking you through the out of box test. Now for the out of box test, there are four areas that we would give you results on. We'll give you results on how your scripts were executed. We'll give you results on the reliability signals we get for memory utilization and CPU utilization, and I will just go right in there to see more details. Yeah, now this is a test result, the actual results we have here, and we're looking at the script execution results. How were you, what was the performance when your script was executed against this app? when the scripts were executed against this app, against the Windows 10 1809 version. Looking at the screen right here, you would notice that there are two versions that are being compared. So what we do is we do like a, a regression analysis. We compare the results of a previous run against the current run. So we're comparing the results of the previous run with the 2020-03 um, update as against the run with the 2020-04 updates. So here we have the install, launch, close, and uninstall actions that were performed. And we can see here the results using the exit codes. The expectation from the update staging lab is if it was run successfully, it would return a zero exit code. So if it wasn't run successfully, we would see a one, a one or whatever number you you put to help you um, root cause and find out um, why your scripts did not execute successfully. So here we also have the number of times these actions were performed. So the install was performed once, launch and close 30 times, and they uninstall once. And you can see the failure rates right there indicated in the percentage format. So we have it broken down for each version that it was tested against. And right here, you can go ahead and download the logs and to see more information. If you, if maybe there are any issues and you want to get to the root cause, maybe to get the exact, the exact message received when the failures occurred and, and much more. Here on the reliability tab, we give you a lot of rich information about the processes that were being run on the machine and how they performed the crash and hang signals of these processes when your app was being tested against the pre-release version. So you have different processes listed here. You can look for the particular process that indicates your app is running or processes that your app leverages on to run. You can look for them. You can go ahead and favorite certain processes. There are particular processes that you need to use to monitor the performance of your app or the compatibility of your app as a, against the um, uh, Windows OS version. You can go ahead and favorite those processes. And then we have a sort feature here where you can use to sort to sort um, through, you can sort through to search for particular processes. You can sort the crash and the launch hang signals right there. So that is also a feature that is available. And of course, this information is also available to download as a log file. And here on the memory utilization tab, you can see the signals there. 
that were gotten. You can see where there are spikes, you know, when your app was was being tested on the update staging lab against the pre-release updates. So you can use that to drill down to get more information. Same thing here with the CPU utilization. That also you can also check the the rates, you know, of you can check here to see where the spikes are when the tests were being executed for your CPU utilization. So this in a nutshell is what we have for test results when your app is being tested on the update staging lab against pre-release Windows OS versions. Yeah, now this is a product roadmap where we are right now on the update staging lab. Right now we have enabled testing against pre-release security updates. We've done that and this is where we are right now. We're working on enabling testing of pre-release future updates on the update staging lab. And on our roadmap, we also have, we're looking at other areas as future work. We're looking to support other Microsoft updates like browser testing, office testing, and we're also looking to support virtualized apps with um, WVD. We're also looking to support enterprise um, line of business applications, but I tell you that this um, product roadmap actually evolves based on feedback we receive from you, our customers. So we're always listening actively. We're always engaging actively, particularly with our customers that are signed up with us. So based on feedback we receive, that would determine the next thing that we can take on on a product roadmap. So we invite you today to come and partner with us at the Update Staging Lab. This service was announced at a private preview at the Ignite conference last year 2019 and so yeah we're now in private preview we're, we invite partners to join with us come and use the service come and take advantage of the goodness and richness that this service would bring to help your testing process and if you want to sign up with us how can you do that please visit the link on the screen right now that says aka.ms slash join USL. ISVs go in there, fill in your details, and someone from the team would be in touch with you. If you're not an ISV, you can nominate your ISV to, you know, go ahead, sign up, nominate the, the organizations you want to participate in this um, private preview with us, and then we would reach out to them and begin to work with you to onboard your applications on the update staging lab so that you can begin to benefit from the rich insights that you, we, get, we give you based on the results we get from executing your test on pre-released updates. Pre-release updates, updates that are not here in the market three to four weeks before they're released for security updates. For future updates, I guess we'll also be looking at updates available in the Windows flight and rings and all of this is done in the Azure. All of this is done in Azure. Thank you so much for listening. Um, happy you stayed to the end and if you want to contact us, feel free to use any of the email addresses on the screen right now. You have um, info at Gray Matter. They would reach out to us if anyone contacts them directly. If anyone contacts them, you can also contact us directly using our email there, USL preview at Microsoft.com. And there's a number there to also call if you want more information about the update staging lab. You want to find out whether um, the scenarios we can enable for you. You want to find out if um, wh what you do as a test as a test practice in your organization if we're looking at it in our roadmap or, or you know anything regarding um, testing on windows in azure feel free to reach out to us and we'll of course 
get back to you and address all the questions. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.